Hi, this is Tracy from Gift Basket Appeal, and I'm making a greeting card for someone very, very special. The inspiration behind this card comes from Cynthia, and her name is Cynthia Grulick, and I wanted to just let you know a little bit about Cynthia. Uh, Cynthia is a disabled Navy veteran, and she has ALS, which is also known as Lou Gehrig's disease. So her sister, Catherine, wrote to me, and we came up with the idea of Operation Cynthia Smiles to put Cynthia, to put some smiles on Cynthia's face. We always want to be a blessing in any way we can, and through our crafting, we can be a blessing to someone else. So Cynthia, if you're watching this, I just want you to know that you're not alone. Um, there are a lot of people uh, that are going to be helping to send greeting cards to you. If you want to be involved in Operation Cynthia Smile, I will leave her address below in the description box. We want to fill up her mailbox with lots of inspiration, uh, lots of cards, and I know we can really do this and be a blessing to her. So we're keeping her in our prayers. I really appreciate Catherine, her sister, for reaching out to me and just putting all this stuff together. Uh, we, Catherine and I actually met in the group, Gift Basket Appeal Crafters Group. And I have to tell you that that group is such a blessing uh, to me and so many others. Okay, so um, Cynthia, uh, just to let you know a little bit about her, uh, she uh, was diagnosed with ALS, which is also Lou Gehrig's disease, and she's also um, a Navy veteran. So I want to say thank you to Cynthia for your service. Um, your sister has been telling us some wonderful things about you, and so I hope this card is a blessing and an inspiration to you. Now, if you want to send her some, some cards, you can uh, do a handmade card. If you want to do a sport, uh, store-bought card, that's okay, too. Um, so the things that she likes are owls. So that's why this is going to be, this card is going to be an owl-inspired card. Um, she also likes butterflies, birds, unicorns, and mermaids. So if you want to make a card for her, just have some fun with it. I figured I want to brighten her day and put a smile on her face. I've got all of my bright bright markers out. I got my owls getting ready to cut color those in. And um, this card with the hearts on it sending her love and this bright plaid uh, background. And that's actually I'm going to be using my May May set. Uh, my May May made it set. It's perfect because she likes owls. So I want to make her something with that. And I did do a few other cards that I'm going to be sending her along with this one. So I want to flood her mailbox and I want to put a smile on her face. Okay, so this particular um, paper, let's see, this paper is from the paper pack called My Heart. So this is just perfect. And let's look and see what this, look how pretty this is. Absolutely gorgeous paper with hearts. It's just really bright. And I know that uh, when I create this card that um, I'm hoping that many of you will be inspired by it and you just decide to make a card as well. So first thing I'm going to do is start coloring in my owls. And I think they are just super adorable. I love this stamp set. Um, the stamp set is actually called Alton and Olivia. <laughs> Yeah, this, this uh, project is really, really touches my heart. And I'm so glad that I'm able to do something, uh, something that I love doing and being able to give it to someone else. Sometimes it's just the little things. And so if me taking uh, the time out to make a card and put it in the mailbox and send it off to Cynthia is going to bright, brighten her day then I am ready to do it because we all, all need help and we all need uh, prayer sometimes. We're going through, so many people are going through a lot of stuff, but I noticed that 
I'm blessed even more when I really don't focus on what's going on like in my life, but I focus on what's happening in someone else's life. All right, so I'm just going to color this in maybe with the yellow. And let's see, maybe we could do some pink on this one also. Let's see. Because I got pink in this too. So I'm trying to kind of match up my paper. And I'm not doing any fancy coloring on this, but I do want this to be nice and bright. And you know what I say, just, just have fun with it. And so I've been working on a couple of things for, uh, for Cynthia. So she's going to really love what I've got in store for her. And I'm going to show you at the end. I'm super excited about it. And it's always nice when you're creating for someone um, and you have the person in mind. And since she likes owls, I know many of you love owls too. Um, this is just perfect. So yeah, look at my owl. He's just so, so bright. And I just want to thank the group, um, all the crafters in, in my Facebook group. I just want to thank all of you. Um, many people have already started mailing out cards to Cynthia. So she's, um, she's already receiving some cards. So we've been, uh, posting card ideas in the group, showing everyone what we're going to be sending. We've got people who are outside of the United States sending cards to Cynthia. So this has really taken on a wonderful, wonderful um, operation. So Cynthia, I'm smiling right now and I hope you are too, because this just makes my heart so full. And I can't thank those of you enough who've just jumped right on and said, hey, where's the address? We'll go ahead and make her a card. Look how bright that is with that blue. That blue looks really good with the pink. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and continue coloring in my owls and having fun. And I'll come back and show you what I've got. Okay, so these are all cut out. I did my little fussy cutting and look how adorable those are. And I'm going to take this, this hard piece of paper. I'm gonna um, stamp, some, stamp some branches out on here. And I'm gonna use this branch right here that's from that same stamp set. <clears throat> and let's see if I can I think if I get it in a really dark color. Let's see. I'm going to try this um, this distress ink. So let's see if it's it's dark enough on this pink paper. I'm not sure, but we'll see. If not, I can always kind of color it in and enhance it. So I want the branch here. I'm going to have some of my owls hanging upside down. So I'm going to put one up here. Oh, that works out fine. Okay. That's fine. And I could always go in with my marker and darken it up if I need to. Let's see this one right here. I just got to have all my artwork. And this is... um vintage photo distress ink so I just wanted a kind of a brownish I wanted a brownish limb oh, I'm gonna put that this way right down here let's see maybe closer to the bottom and then I'll have some of my owls on that branch okay I'm really loving this and I just have some wipes I've been using. Some wet wipes, just kind of wipe that down. Okay, that looks cute. And I see a little bit of the, the white hearts kind of through this, but that's okay. I'm just gonna take this and just shade it in just a little bit darker, no problem. 
I love owls too, so this is so pretty. And I love flowers, just like Cynthia, and birds, <laughs> and butterflies. Yep, I love butterflies. So this is just like a piece of cake to, to do. Just so, so much fun. Look how pretty that is. Okay, so let's see what else do I need to add on here. I think I'll do um, a little bit of stitching around the edge there. Just a light, a little bit. Yeah, I'll put my stitching on. And I'm just using this really, really fine point uh, gel stick right around the edge here. All right, just that little bit. That little bit helps. I wish I could see the the smile on Cynthia's face when she gets this too. All right, so I'm going to put this aside for one moment and work on my base here. I'm gonna leave this card blank on the inside only because I'm gonna write something special to Cynthia, some words of encouragement. Look how pretty on the other side too. It's that double-sided paper. Sometimes it gets hard to pick which one. Look how pretty that is. This is a really nice paper pack. I could see me doing a lot of stuff with that. Okay. This will be my base. I think the hearts and the plaid. I mean, it's just, just have fun with it. It's going to be good. I was thinking of mounting this, but I don't think I'm, I'm going to mount this. I'm going to actually mount the owls on here. This way. Oh, look how pretty this is. And this is like spring spring colors. Okay, and our group is still fairly new, about two months, two months out, but we've already got 2,000 um, members in our group. And um, I'll be sure to put the link to my Facebook group. And so we are doing some wonderful things in there, lots of friendships and bonding going on. And that has, that group has brought us together uh, to put these cards together for um, Cynthia. And sometimes we don't always know what to do or say when someone's going through some life challenges, but sometimes you say, well, what can I do? You know how many people you can bless through your crafting? Think about the amount of things that you've made and just to say to someone, you know what, I'm here for you and just give them a card. Or if they're going through something, you don't know what words to say, leave them a card on their desk or something, mail a card to them. And sometimes we, we hesitate and we don't always do the thing that we're really thinking about doing. And we kind of say, mm, someone else will do it. Well, why not? And why not us? Right. Why can't we just do it? Okay, so look at how fun this looks. Look at that. That is absolutely adorable. So I'm hoping that many of you will, will join me. Um, I think this is just one of many different ways to bless someone. And so I'm hoping many of you will make cards and send them to Cynthia. Like I said before, I will put her address um, in the description box below. And let's, let's make Cynthia smile. 
Look how adorable that is. Oh my goodness. Isn't that just, it's just sometimes the little things that make all the difference. Okay, and I'm gonna put a little, get one of my um, Dollar Tree stickers and it says thank you. So I'm gonna put a little thank you right here on the side and it per matches perfectly. See how everything just finds itself? So I'm going to put this right in the corner here. And look how cute that looks. So it's easy to take time out of your day. And since you're crafting anyway, you can make a bunch of cards and just have them on hand because there's always someone that is going to be going through something. So I'm over here kind of rummaging through my stuff here. I've got thank you right there. Let's see. Bright pearl, maybe. I'm going to be putting some, I'm going to put some of these on here. I've been wanting to, let's see what the blue looks like. I think the blue might show up better on there. I think. Oh yeah, the blue will, the blue will go perfect. I think the, um, the pink will probably fade in too much. Having so much fun doing this. This is what life is all about, helping one another. And if it's crafting that brings us together to bless someone else, then so be it. Nothing happens by accident. It's, it's meant to happen. It was meant that... It was meant that Catherine should reach out to me and say, can we do this, you know? It was meant to be. All right, so let me put one more. I'm just going on overload right here. I'm going to put another little gem. Just these little enhancements really help. Okay, so I am smiling right now. So just that little gesture to say thank you. And um, I'm really, I'm thanking Cynthia with... A whole lot of other veterans for for your service and so let me show you what else I made for her so this is going to be going out in the mail this week and I'm super excited about it because um, I just am I just see all these wonderful things happening and people coming together to do to do good things oh you know what I forgot I'm gonna put uh, thinking of doing some sparkly stuff on here on the stem. I did it on this one. Look how cute this is. Here's another one that's going out um, to Cynthia. Similar card, different colors. Look at that. And um, I put um, some sparkle on the branch to bring it out. I don't know if you can see that, but look how cute that is. And I'm going to do this one. I'm trying to let those gems on there uh, dry. So I'm just taking this little pen. Um, it's a Stardust gel pen. And I'm just kind of going on this branch with it and it just really adds to it. I've got my owls just hanging out on the branch there. Okay, and this one, this one I've got to sign also, but I have another one for her too. So I did uh, three cards and I did a, a mini journal for her, a mini book for her actually. And so this one says, hang in there. Um, that's actually from another May May Made It stamp set. And it's just perfect to go with these owls. So everything, look, how the, look at the colors with the yellow and the blue. It just works. And I wasn't trying to match. I was just trying to have fun and keep Cynthia in mind. And here's a third card that I made for her. So she's gonna be flooded with cards. I tried my hand at coloring and I used my um, my Tumbo markers uh, to do this one. And this says hang in there, same paper pack. So all of these are from that same My Heart paper pack, but from Pink and Maine. And so see that yellow and blue, and here's blue with the hearts on it. And I tried my my um, my hand at coloring in. Someone sent me this really pretty flower, 
And since uh, Cynthia loves flowers, I decided to just kind of take my pen and just kind of like, um, just blend, you know, to make her a pretty flower. And I did pop it on there. So it's got that 3D effect. And I was just trying to blend and kind of play around with it and have fun. So I, I'm really liking the way that came out because um, I'm trying to enhance my coloring skills and get more into blending. And so, yeah, I just wrote her a little note inside just to let her know I'm thinking about her. So, Cynthia, I hope you love this one, too. And let me show you. Um, I'm actually going to be sending her. I'm flooding Cynthia with cards. A thank you card. Uh, thanking her for her service. And you've seen this butterfly card that I did before. And I thought, you know what? This is perfect. This is this was meant for Cynthia. So I'm going to be sending her uh, this card, too, as a thank you um, for her. So um, I'll put the tutorial to how I made this card also, because this was super fun to make using the butterflies. And that's that Dollar Tree butterfly stamp that I was using for that one. And then, yeah, I was on a roll here with <laughs> making stuff. This, I, I made a mini book for Cynthia. And um, there is a paper pack. Um, and I can't remember what the name of it is. Leave me, oh, it's the Bow Bunny. Uh, it's actually the Bow Bunny Faith Collection. And I used some of that paper to fill this up. I thought it was perfect uh, for what I was trying to do. And I took that same rose, just colored it in a different, or same flower, colored it in a different color. And look how pretty that is. And so I decorated the, the cover and I took my time with this. I really wanted it to be something uh, very special for Cynthia. And it says just for you. And then I popped some gems on there too. So a lot of you were asking uh, when I made the mini books, what, what would you do with them? This is the type of thing that you would do with it. Um, and I just put words in there. It can be anything you want it to be, but it's just so adorable. This is a three by three mini book. And I'll just do a quick flip through for you. It says just for you. And I did, um, I just put the uh, Bow Bunny uh, background paper on here. And then I popped this on here after I colored it in. And then the Just For You is from a May May Made It stamp. And then I put stitching right around the edge on that. So fun. And then if you turn it over like this, I just put Hugs Tracy, sign my name, and I put a heart on there. This heart actually is from Dollar Tree. It's a Dollar Tree sticker. So, and then I just put the pages in there. And I put owls, owls throughout the book since she loves owls. But you can make this anything. You can do the flowers and the birds and the butterflies. So just another thing to do. And I just thought I wanted to send her something extra special. This has the butterfly, I mean, the, um, the owl and keep the faith with hearts in it. Beautiful paper. Um, strength and believe with another owl. Just doing a quick flip through. You can get really fancy or you can just keep it simple. You've got this and I got the owl, you rocks. I had fun coloring in these owls, different colors. So each page I'm hoping that she gets a little bit of inspiration from. A, a teacup um, from May May Made It stamps and courage. So these words actually, these came from uh, the May May Made It stamp set as well. So these came in perfect using several stamp sets to kind of just decorate the inside. And my little owls, cute. So this is kind of a theme um, oriented book. Pray, joy, believe. Don't hide in the storm, dance in the rain. How precious is that? Faith with the um, the owl actually looks like it's meditating with the eyes closed like that. <laughs> so, so super cute. Let's see what else we have here. And joy comes in the morning. And then I just put keeping you in my prayers, thoughts, my prayer, my thoughts and prayers. And so all of this, just grab everything you have. You have stuff in your stash. You can create something 
to bless someone else. So we don't have to hold on to these things. We create these things so that we can give, give it away to someone else and make them feel special. So I do hope that you were inspired by this video. Operation Cynthia Smiles is underway. I know that many of you are going to join me on this. Um, let's go ahead and bless Cynthia. Thank you, Catherine, for reaching out to me. I truly appreciate all of you. For everyone in the group that's sending out cards and have already sent cards, Cynthia has already received her first batch of cards. So she's wondering what's going on. So I want her family to know that we're praying for you. Um, and um, Cynthia, you hang tough. And I will see y'all real soon. And go ahead and meet me in the group. We've got, we're discussing this whole thing. Uh, her sister, Catherine, is, is sending us pictures of Cynthia in the group. So we're really enjoying it. And we're really inspired. And I'll see you real soon. Bye.